Since I am a small child, I always dreamt of traveling to Africa. And finally, after so many years of traveling, I found a place where my dream came true. This is how he's excited. <laughs> then follow me on my journey of making the impossible possible, traveling full time as a single mom with my baby to Kenya and becoming a travel influencer who supports over 1 million travelers in planning their trip to Kenya. Hit the subscribe button if you want to support this mission. <sighs> so, cheers guys. Yes. Pew! So, when I was trying to give Kampala his coffee, he wanted to mix something inside. So, I'm curious. Give us a story. Yeah, about this? <laughs> this is not what you call makutukuti. Ma what? Makutukuti. Mak makutukuti. Makutukuti. These are <laughs> local herbs. It's very strong. The one that makes people in Moran very strong. Whichever they go and they're always in that courage, like they don't afraid of anything. So otherwise, if I take this one, it's like uh, coffee, but a bit like stronger than coffee. Coffee is a, a little bit make you awake, but this one, it always make you like, you don't afraid of anything. Okay. Even if it's a lion. Can I try? Yes, try, but don't oh, kill me. Don't kill you? Like, Why? It, it makes me aggressive. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's like a lion. Yeah, you always like. Okay, maybe then I just take a sip, not like yours. I saw you mix in like too many spoons. Yeah, yeah you can try. Yours? I thought you mixed something in mine. No, no, no. You, you can try this. <laughs> okay, guys, wait. Uh, so let's see if I will kill a lion after that. Yeah, yeah. try that. <laughs> Three, two. Yeah, go, go, go. Take it. Be a lion, okay? He is the sound that Morans always produce, okay? To make, to clear away the way so that people will be scared of you when you go on the, uh, in the forest, okay? <laughs> okay, do it for yourself. Go! Go! Ah! Uh. <laughs> ah, nice! Nice one! Once again! Oh. <laughs> we are here, hiding in the, in the wood, in the cliff, in the rock, on top of here. So, look at this! <laughs> but it's so windy that I told him, let's go hide somewhere, so that uh, you guys can actually hear us. Yes, so I thought today, because I'm here, yeah. With the, the most famous and known guy in Samburu. <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so he's one of the guides I work with and he's just one of the persons to go and I don't know, he knows Samburu, everything. So yeah, let's ask him, what do you think is the best thing to do in Samburu? Here in Samburu, we have got several, so much, so many things you have to do here in Samburu. Yeah, we can do hikings. It depends which kind of hike you want. If you need a three hours hike, if you need maybe you are a little bit old, you are maybe kids with two years old, they can do small, small hike around. Mm -hmm. and so also, actually, the, the mountain is just here. Let me show them. We are here on top of another mountain, which I cannot pronounce that name. Uh, here, that mountain, Mount Ololokwe is just here. And what is the name of this mountain? Whoop! Nalitakon. Sorry? Nalitakon. Nalitakon? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting better and better. So this is the mountain we hiked up in the morning. It's actually not that high. Um, but it is super amazing, beautiful. The best view in Samburu to see the sunrise. This has been amazing and I'm so grateful for Kampala to take us here just for the sunrise. And then as he said, he could take us. We are not doing that. You guys know I'm not a hiker. And also I'm here with my baby boy. Zahi! Zahi here! <laughs> so we are not doing the hike, but 
you can hike Mount Ololokwe, but you need to have a guide. You cannot do it by yourself. So he's here. Okay, let's go back and, then, and hide. Yeah. <laughs> and then apart from hikings, we can as well do the other things. Like uh, we can as well go to the village, village visit. Maybe we have dance with the Morans or with the women around. And we have we share all cultures around. We show you how we stay in the small huts, and then all of that. We also we also dance we, we, about women's and Morans. Morans dance a group of twenty or something. Mm -hmm. And in Samburu, we also arrange like a Morans hike. We go up the mountain. We slaughter goat because that's the most favorite thing Morans ah. like. Okay, when we when we slaughter goat, can we drink blood or do we have to drink blood? <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> one one it. question because I know you love it so yeah, much. What yeah. is your favorite meal? My favorite meal is blood. Favorite like meal. raw blood, blood just like the way it is, or you take blood with anything else? Just blood the way it is. When it's hot, you know, it's a bit salty and it's like like very nice. every day? Like in two days or which if, if I get every day, I just do. Like what the what the because you did coffee today. So if I get blood today I do it. Tomorrow I do it. So I I don't like and, it's and, and, and what is the belief about blood? Like it makes you strong. Why do you take blood? Blood is like it's the other it's like just a food, but you know it keeps you stronger and stronger and stronger to persist in this dry and in this hardship life we are. So it's like you, you we, we always take blood to be strong enough. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, maybe then guys I should try taking blood as well. He already mixed something in his coffee today morning um, while we had the view, the sunrise going up, um, which also said it's like herbal things to make him strong. Yeah, that's that's, that's, a, that's a secret. What yeah. ma? Makutukuti. Makutukuti. <laughs> that's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets. Yeah. yeah, so then, of course, guys, also in Samburu, um, because Samburu is also known for its national parks. So we have Samburu National Park or Game Reserve, we have Buffalo Springs, and we have Shaba. So we have some species of which you can only see in Samburu. Uh, like, for example, the Gevi Zebra, we only have it here in Samburu. There's no. Reticulated giraffes. Yeah, and the, yes. Reticulated giraffe, the beautiful ones. We yeah. only have them here. Yeah, so no other national park has them. But for me, to be honest, Samburu is all about the culture and this view. And there's also. Oh, my baby is screaming. Zahi! <laughs> And there's also the women's only village. You guys know I keep on talking about them and talking about them and I stay there currently right now as well. For the guys who don't know, this is a village which was founded by 15 women in 1990 who said like enough is enough and to fight for their rights as women because in this culture, sorry to say, but a lot of women don't go to school yet or a lot of women also get <coughs> circumcised and a lot of women don't have the same rights as we are used to it from our countries. So this village, they said it's enough is enough. They are stronger without their men and started that special village which is really like has a big history behind and I like working with them. And yeah, what do you think about like the circumcision? Like do you think it's changing? Actually, actually at the moment, uh, like according to the way I knew before, it's now really changing because wow. people are like, oh, now we see this the way to go. It's not like that before. It's like if you're not circumcised, you feel like no, like uh, you feel like too bad. But nowadays, people they just say, "Oh, we stay pure the way we were." And wow, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. So you can see actually such initiatives like the Women's Only Village and others, of course, as well. We have so many uh, women groups or other groups, also internationals, who are trying to make a difference. But at the end of the day, it can only make a change if the community themselves, they are within, like make a difference and make a change, which takes quite some time. So as you guys see, Samburu is one of my most favorite spots, a place which I call home personally. And um, yeah, I think I should get some land here. What do you think? I get some land? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zai, we get some, mommy get some land? Uh, you become a warrior? He's going, he's going to be raised by a Samburu warrior so that he gets strong. <laughs> okay guys, let us hike back to our car and then let's see what we will do today. Maybe a game drive in the park or something else. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Leon, this is what he's allowed. <laughs>